make sure. You know, God is still speaking today. I, uh, I, was, uh, I was sleeping Friday morning, and I had a dream Friday morning. And in this dream, I, I woke up. Uh, in the dream, I was, I was uh, awake, and I looked at my address book, and right across in big, huge red letters was 8 a.m., Pastor speaks. And I, I thought about that, and I thought, well, that means at 8 a.m. this morning, Pastor Speaks is on. Now, I had done a TV program over in, in Quincy called the Pastor Speaks before Christmas. And they had told me some times, and I just kind of scribbled them down in real small print and hadn't thought about it. But I woke up Friday, and I, and I, was, doing some, uh, I was doing quiet time Friday morning and doing some reading through Scripture. And about uh, 7, 7.40... It came to my mind that I had that dream. You, you, you don't remember a lot of dreams you have, but I remember that one. And I picked up my address book and looked at it on Friday for that day, and it's, it didn't say big red letters, but it said in little small letters, 8 a.m., the pastor speaks. So I turned on the TV in about 15 minutes. It started, and I recorded. I needed to watch it because I, I hate to watch myself, but I need to watch myself to, uh, to try to correct some things. But I needed to record one of those times, and that was the only time I could really do it. But you know, God is speaking today. He says, looking for people that are listening. Deborah was listening, and God spoke to Deborah and spoke to a nation through her. And we get so enamored with all the world's got to say and all the ways they say it that we forget to stop and listen to God. I want to challenge you this week to make sure you hear from God. Because as his child, he desires to speak to you just as much as you want to speak to your kids about their needs and their issues of life. And let me assure you, you can't make it. You cannot live life like God is destined and designed you to without hearing from him. I want to challenge you to listen to God and like Barak, no matter what he says and how it scares you, be willing to step out in faith. And in your own little way, God will give you that victory that you saw there in the Kishon Valley. God will make himself known so that you can have your own chapter 5 and let the world know that this was God who did it. Let me ask